The one thing that I wish everyone would know and all families would know is that cardiovascular disease can be prevented, but we really need to start at a young age. So teaching children how to have healthy behavior, teaching kids about the importance of not smoking, teaching kids about the importance of exercise, eating well, and maintaining their weight. If we can do that, that's considered primordial prevention and that will prevent the development of risk factors. Even if you have a family history, it doesn't mean that that family history becomes your history. I always encourage my patients to stay healthy. And the way to do that is by starting off with exercise. For those people who exercise quite a bit, their heart disease risk is actually lower. They're happier, they're more satisfied with their life. So it's really important to understand that exercise is really a driver of many good habits as well as good health. Well, I first came to Stanford after uh, I had a heart attack. I credit Dr. Young with my good health. This is a collaborative effort. When I get up in the morning, I have probably 10,000 excuses why I should not put on my sweats and go out and run. But after I do it, I feel better. The exciting thing about the heart sore treatment nowadays is we're getting more and more minimally invasive. We can now do a lot of these procedures with almost no surgery. So the future of cardiovascular prevention is not just the basic things, but it's actually about improving the patient experience to maximize their ability to do the right thing. The movement is trying to move a lot of the cardiovascular care in an outpatient at home environment and only need to see the doctors if there is a need to come into the hospital for procedures. The ability to see patients in two ways, uh, communication, whether it is FaceTime, Skype, or many other technologies, we actually feel like you know, we are just as close to the patient and actually can see them more frequently. We want people to get back to their lives. We want to be able to give the patients the tools, regardless of where they are on the spectrum of the cardiovascular disease, to maximize their outcomes. So we are poised to apply our research knowledge our clinical expertise, and our innovation and technology to improve the patient care and to improve outcomes for all patients who come and see us.